Good morning, dear students. Today now we will start the next point that is water as a solvent. See, water as a solvent means what? See, we are learning the third and fourth standard, the solution. Mm, what is a solution? See here, the substance that is visible in the water are said to be soluble in water. Okay. This you know only. Though the substances are dissolved in water, are known as a soluble substances. For example, sugar. Okay, uh, more example, salt. This sugar and salt totally dissolved in water, mix in water, so that all substances are known as a soluble substances. And totally opposite of the soluble substances, that is the insoluble. Okay, insoluble substances. Now, insoluble substance means what? Those substances are not dissolved in water are known as a insoluble substances. Okay, so why this point is given the water as a solvent? See, water is known as a universal solvent. Okay, now universal solvent means what? See, most of the substances means many substances are dissolved in water. It is soluble in water, so known as so water is known as a universal solvent. See, water can dissolve many substances, therefore it is termed as a universal solvent. Now for example, we will see, first write this on the points, means what the substance that we dissolve in water are known as a soluble in water or soluble substances. Second one, the substances that do not dissolve in water are said to be insoluble in water. Okay, now why water is known as a universal solvent? Because many substances are dissolved in water, they are soluble in water, so it is known as a soluble substances. Okay, now we will see when it is a basic point like already you learned in the last, uh, last year we will see. Suppose this is one beaker. Okay. In this beaker what? Water. See water. Water is a solvent. Solvent means in which substance we are going to add another substance. So this is known as a, this is a water is a solvent. Okay. And this solvent. See this salt I am going to add in this. Okay. Now this salt we are adding in this. Salt is known as a solute. Okay, what it is known as a solute means which substance we are going to add in water that is known as a solute. See, now here first only water was there, so it is a solvent. But when when we will add this salt in the water, now the salt particles will dissolve in water. So here what we will get? Salt. Solution. Okay. So now here three points are important. Three which points are important? That is the solute. Solute means which substance you are going to add. That is known as a solute. And in which we are going to add in water. So water is a solvent. And when these two substances are totally mixed together, then we will get the salt solution. Okay, so these three, three words are very important. Now, one more example. See, in example, you tell me that uh, suppose the sugar solution you said. Okay, now in this another container, here what? This is the sugar solution. Sugar solution. Okay, now you tell me in this which one is the solvent. Uh, which one is a solute and how we will get the sugar solution. Just try rethink it. Okay, now I tell you. Go. See, in this, first water. So, water is solvent. Water is solvent. Okay, in this water, what we added? Sugar. So, Sugar is solute. Okay. And when this sugar is mixed in water, finally we will get this is a sugar solution. So understood this three point that is a solute, 
solver and solution okay and this water as a solvent means water is known as a universal solvent because many substances are dissolved in it if they are soluble in that so it is known as a universal solvent okay so you understand this point now next point we will learn that is a saturated solution okay now what will be the next point see next point is saturated saturated point okay saturated point you can see it is now saturated point means what see this information it is given in your textbook saturated point okay now that definition you just copy from that means what no more solute can be dissolved in a solvent see properly yeah no more solute can be dissolved in solvent are known as saturated solution okay no more solute can be dissolved in a solvent are known as a saturated solution particular point that point is known as a saturated point for example see this is one beaker okay in this beaker i have taken for example practically we will learn in the next lecture okay first you understand what is a saturated point okay in this beaker now suppose this is a 5 ml 5 ml water okay now but water quantity we have to take same okay 5 ml water and in this one petri dish i have some salt okay salt now this for that i add one spoon salt in this stir it it will dissolve okay one more you add it will dissolve now when 10 spoon see ya yeah, 10 spoon i added in this salt it dissolved but when i added the 11 spoon in this then it is not dissolved it will be the remain same here it is like that why because now it is a saturated solution because no more solute can be dissolved see the water in this is the same quantity that is 5 ml only but in this 5 ml water we are adding the salt only the 10 spoon salt dissolved but not more than that now if you will add the more salt it will be remain as it is so that solution is known as a saturated solution now why this happened see in the element compound and mixture in salt states we learn solid liquid and gas we know that the molecular arrangement of solid liquid and gas okay just we will see why this happen why is the saturated point see the solid suppose now this is the solid the molecular arrangement is like this okay they are closely packed to each other if it is a liquid then it is with space is there okay this is the liquid this already you did and if it is a gas then very far from each other see The solid molecular arrangement, and there is a liquid molecular arrangement, and this one is gas. Okay, now see this liquid in this molecular arrangement here is some space. Do you understand this? The space is between these molecules. Okay, so when we are adding the solute in this, that part calls space in this between here gap is given so in that gap that solid particles dissolve but when it is totally packed fully packed so that time here no more solute can be dissolved understood fine so because of that it is known 
as a saturated solution. Saturated solution means in your space is there that much time solute can be dissolved. But when this space will totally finish, then no more substance can be dissolved, no more solute can be dissolved, and that solution is known as a saturated solution. Okay, just read this point. This point is given in your textbook. Proper definition is also given. Read this point again because this is little bit a new point for you. And uh, read and write important points in your notebook. So now the next point we will continue in next lecture. Thank you.